Hi guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thanks very much for joining me today. As you can see here, I have a review of the Stabilio Aquacolor uh, watercolor pencils. Now, about six months ago, just before I get into this review, about six months ago, um, I was having a look around Amazon and that type of thing, and I seen this. I seen a set of Stabilio. Uh, I think they were just wax based pencils, and. Um, you know, I knew that Stabilio done a lot of uh, stationery and art supplies, that type of thing. Um, I used their fine liners. Their fine liners are fantastic. But um, I wasn't aware, and I was aware of their um, pastel pencils, but I didn't realize that they did uh, wax-based pencils and watercolor pencils. So I really wanted to get a set of them and uh, bring them on here and do a review for you. But at the time... A lot of the places that I was looking at, they were out of stock or something like that. I just couldn't get hold of them. So I put it off for a little bit and about a month or so ago, um, I tried again and lo and behold, there was a lot more available on Amazon. And I pretty much put that down to the fact that things like, um, you know, for, for a start, the, the colour pencil medium has exploded uh, in popularity. So has adult colouring books and things like that. So I put it down to that. So I contacted uh, Stabilio, I spoke to a lovely lady over there, she gave me a lot of information about the sets and she also um, sent me out a couple of sets to review as well. So like I said, the first title of sets that I'm going to review here is the watercolour pencils. Now I've had a lot of fun about using these pencils and I was really, really surprised uh, at just how good they were because, you know, I've been reviewing pencils for a long time now and I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about these pencils. Um, which was another reason why I wanted to get them. But so anyway, I have a set here and let's get into the review. Now, in terms of sets that are available, they come in a set of 12, 24, as, I, as you can see here, and uh, a set of 36 as well. Now, normally I say, if you've got wax-based or oil-based pencils, you want to be going for, at the, at the least, a 36 set. But with water-soluble pencils, it's slightly different. You are going to be able to create more colours with water-soluble pencils and stuff like that. And so a set of 24 like this, or a set of 36, is going to be more than enough in terms of creating different, different shades and all the rest of it. You will be able to do that easier, I feel, with water-soluble pencils. Um, they also come open stock as well, so that's a plus. You're going to be able to get these pencils individually if you want. Uh, I mean, that, that was my only downside. It was that although the 36 set is ample, it's, you know, because I really enjoyed using them, I would like to have maybe seen a 48 set and maybe a 72 set. Um, another thing that surprised me about these pencils was a lot of the water-soluble pencils I've reviewed in the past have been thick and chunky, whereas these ones are nice and slim. Uh, the core on these pencils is 2.8 millimeter and um, the barrel is seven millimeter but you can see here as well uh, it's a hexagonal barrel now I know a lot of you uh, color pencil artists they really like the hexagonal barrels because it stops them from rolling off their drafting tables that type of thing as well uh, so that'll be a plus for a lot of you but the um, the thing is it really did surprise me at just how thin these pencils were. Like I said, bearing in mind the water-soluble pencils I have used in the past and the pastel pencils are normally quite thick and chunky. Now, um, in terms of the, the, the barrel itself, they are lacquered in the same colour as the core. So your pigments that you see here on the front of the core are the same as the um, barrel colour, which gives you a quick and easy indication of what colours you're going to go for and use. But like I always say, I would still advise always that when you get your new pencils is to create a colour swatch and put it down on the paper you're most likely to use. And you're going to be able to see the, the, exactly how that pigment reacts Um on the paper that you're going to be using just for going forward and it's easier because these although these uh, barrels are lacquered in that color they're not exactly the same as the pigment but that is exactly the same with all pencils throughout not just the Stabilio. Now in terms of information along the side of the barrel here the only information we have is uh, here it just says Stabilio and uh, Aquacolor so that's the name of the company and the pencil 
Uh, we also have here the little paintbrush icon, which indicates it's a water-soluble pencil. And then there's a number here at the end. It's 1600 slash and then a number. The 1600 corresponds to the fact that it's a Stabilio Aquacolor pencil. And the other number uh, relates to the individual pigment, should you want to order open stock or something like that. And then right at the very end here um, of the, the pencil, you can see that it's capped off with this kind of this little white thing, which is purely just an aesthetic thing. It obviously has no bearing on the, the, the performance of the pencil whatsoever. But the pencils are really light, and but they hold, you know, they feel nice in the hand whenever you're using them. Um, now I'm just going to move this away here and uh, put down uh, some swatches. I'll pick out a few colours put them down uh, and activate them with water. But while I'm doing that, just let you know, um, stick around on this video because it's, I've uh, done a speed drawing using these of a, a rose. And so you'll be able to get a gist of just exactly what these pencils can do um, when you're taking your time. So as you can see here, I've got these colors. And one of the things that I noticed when I started laying these uh, pencils down in their dry form is just how soft and creamy they are. They really reminded me of uh, like a soft wax core pencil. In fact, if you were to hand somebody these pencils, not let them know what they are in terms of water soluble pencils, they would probably say that, that they're a wax based pencil. But obviously that's not the case. So that was one thing. Now, and a lot of people don't realize this, that with water soluble pencils, it is absolutely fine for you to use these pencils dry as well. Now, one of the, the problems or issues that we might have with these pencils is the fact that there's very little information with regard to their light fast rate. And there's no light fast information on the barrel. There was no colored name on the barrel either, which is a, a downside. But with regard to the light fast, we were talking on a live stream there the other night and um, we were debating whether when you have water soluble pencils and you once you activate them, does activating them with water, does it uh, do anything to the light fast rating? It's something I've got to look into, but I will look into it. But if you know anything about that, leave some comments down below and let me know if you if that is indeed the case. Anyway, I'll zoom in here a little bit so you can get a better view of these uh, pigments being activated. Um, as you can see here with this lemony yellow color, um, the pigment just, it's it still stays really nice and rich and vibrant whenever you activate it with water. Moves about lovely. And one of the really nice, one of the good marks of a good water soluble pencil, I feel, is that whenever you activate it with water, you, you don't get any of those pencil lines underneath it. Some of the cheaper brands, uh, whenever you activate it, you still get those, there's some lines underneath the, the, the paint just remain there and don't move. And that's probably got more to do with the ingredients that's in the pencil, <clears throat> which is why they're really cheap. But with the Stabilio here, you can see there, the the entirety of the pigment just dissolves into paint and it's beautiful. Uh, you can see here with this purple color as well, the colors are just so rich and vibrant. Um, and like I said, I had a lot of fun using these pencils when I was uh, doing the drawing. It was the first, uh, it, it was the first fully water soluble or like watercolor pencil drawn on, on its own that I had done. Um, so I was really impressed with the outcome of the drawing. Uh, bearing in mind, I've never really done that before. But a lot of that was down to the fact that the pencils are really nice. Uh, and the pigment, when it's activated, as you can see here, um, you know, you have a lot of control over it. And I think that's one of the things that I really like about water watercolor pencils. They're so versatile. You get a lot of control with them and there's lots of different methods that you can use. Um, another method here is, so you, I've just, with these four colors here, I've just put the, you know, the, the pigment straight onto the paper and then activated it with water. But like I said, there's other techniques that you can use. And this one here is, um, just wet in the paper, get it, uh, not saturated wet, but, uh, get it wet enough. And, um, 
in fact, actually, I used this technique with the, the flower that I'm going to show you on the speed drawing. But um, once you've wet, got the paper wet enough, then you get the pencil. Just let me zoom in here a second. Um, you get the pencil and you just run the pencil down through the water, just like oh, on the paper, like you're drawing a line or whatever. And like I say, it'll come in handy for certain techniques. Obviously, not all, but for some. And you can see there that the, the technique, the 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 outcome of it, it gives you like a, another dimension to the pencil, you know, the way it, they fan out there in the water and stuff like that there. It's just another nice thing uh, that you can use these pencils with. Now, another way that you can use the pencils if you want a little bit more accuracy, a little bit more control, is by getting a wet brush and taking the pigment directly off the core of the pencil. Now this is good, like I said, this is going to give you a lot more accuracy and a lot more control. Um, if you're maybe doing a small part or something like that, or just a little, uh, I don't know, part of an eye or something, um, then this would be a good technique. One thing to, to look out for and to be careful when you're doing this is, the core of the pencil obviously becomes wet. You don't want to have the brush really saturated or anything like that, uh, just damp. But the core of the pencil, as you can see there, it gets wet. And so the very last thing that you want to do is, while it's wet, do not, under any circumstances, try to sharpen the pencil because it will just crumble and wreck your sharpener. Also, don't try to dry it with a paper towel. Let it dry on its own. Uh, again, if you try to dry it with a paper towel, it'll just pull away at the, the, the pigment and you'll be left with the mess. So that's the uh, swatches there that I've shown you. As you can see there, you know, the colors stay really rich and vibrant. Um, and I was really, really surprised, pleasantly surprised at how well these pencils work uh, and, you know, how vibrant the colors are and stuff like that whenever I was using them. And like I said to you earlier on, Bearing in mind Stabilio is such a big name, it's not a pencil that's really, really discussed an awful lot. And I'm hoping that uh, I can change that a little bit with this review uh, and the, some of the other reviews I'm going to be doing with Stabilio. Now, I was talking to someone there the other day with regards to uh, pencils and stuff like that. The Stabil these Stabilio pencils, a lot of people wouldn't class them as uh, some of the higher end type pencils or anything like that. But... Whenever I go into a review, I always go into it open-minded. I never, ever go into a review thinking that a pencil is going to be bad. And the reason why is because I don't think there's such a thing as a bad pencil. Pencils have their place, and it doesn't matter um, what type of pencil it is. Each individual artist will have uh, a niche area that they can use that particular pencil for. Take, for example, the brush and pencil kit from Aliona Nicholson. That is a fantastic kit, but only certain pencils are going to work with it on certain paper. And so therefore, that's just the way I look at these reviews. There's no such thing as a bad pencil. It's just a case of making sure that you, you know the best place for this pencil to work in. Like with watercolor pencils, a lot of the times I would say watercolor pencils are more suited for landscape, seascape, you know, those types of artwork as opposed to uh, portraiture. I'm not saying you can't do portraiture, but I'm just saying with watercolor pencils, a lot of people would more prefer them for that type of thing. Anyway, guys, I'm going to finish the review off here and it'll go straight into the speed drawing of the, the floor. But before I do, don't forget, you can go across to the Art Gear Guide. I have a full written review of the Stabilio Aqua Colour Pencils over there with a full listing of the prices and things like that. You'll be able to get uh, and see over there. Also, if you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, you can do so. The links will be down below and they'll also be over in the Art Gear Guide. Uh, the link for the full written review of this will also be down below, as will links straight back to Stabilio's website where you can get a little bit more information about these pencils and some of the other fantastic products that they do. Anyway, guys, thanks very much, and I look forward to seeing you all again in the next review. Thanks. Bye.